Air purifiers cost hundreds of dollars and need constant filter replacements, but these 10 indoor plants can clean toxins from your air naturally for just a few dollars each, and studies suggest some of them work surprisingly well, if you know which ones to choose and how many you actually need. I'm not here to tell you plants replace medical-grade air purifiers. But NASA actually studied this back in the 1980s for space stations, and researchers found that certain houseplants can remove harmful chemicals like formaldehyde, benzene, and ammonia from indoor air. The catch? You need more than one or two plants to make a real difference. In this video, I'll show you the 10 best air cleaning plants, what toxins they target, and how many you actually need in each room to feel the benefit. Here's how it works in simple terms. Plants don't just look pretty, they actually absorb air through tiny pores in their leaves. Toxins get trapped in the plant tissue and soil, where microbes break them down. At the same time, plants release oxygen and add moisture to dry indoor air. Studies suggest you need about one good-sized plant per 100 square feet of space. So for a bedroom, that's two to three plants. For a living room, maybe five to seven. It sounds like a lot, but these plants are low-maintenance, affordable, and they work 24-7 without electricity. First up, the snake plant, also called mother-in-law's tongue or sansevieria. This is one of the most studied air purifying plants, and for good reason. NASA's clean air study found that snake plants remove formaldehyde, benzene, trichloroethylene, and xylene from indoor air. These are chemicals hiding in your furniture, carpets, cleaning products, and even the paint on your walls. You breathe them in every single day without realizing it, but here's what makes the snake plant truly special. Unlike most plants, it releases oxygen at night instead of during the day. That means it's actively cleaning and refreshing your bedroom air while you sleep. If you wake up with a stuffy nose, dry throat or feeling unrested, stale bedroom air might be part of the problem. Snake plants are also nearly impossible to kill. They thrive in low light, tolerate irregular watering, and can go weeks without attention. Perfect for beginners or busy people. Place one on your nightstand, dresser, or bedroom corner, anywhere within six feet of where you sleep. One medium-sized snake plant can make a noticeable difference in a 100-square-foot bedroom. And if you want even cleaner air, add a second one near your closet or by the window. Next is the spider plant, one of NASA's top performers for removing carbon monoxide and xylene from indoor air. Carbon monoxide comes from gas stoves, furnaces, and even candles. Xylene is in paints, solvents, and printer ink, both build up in poorly ventilated spaces causing headaches, fatigue, and brain fog. Spider plants are incredibly efficient at filtering these toxins, and they do it fast. Studies suggest they can remove up to 95% of carbon monoxide from a sealed chamber within 24 hours, but here's what makes them even better, they're prolific growers. A healthy spider plant produces baby plants, called spiderettes, that dangle from long stems like little green cascades. You can leave them attached for a fuller look or snip them off and plant them to multiply your air cleaning power for free. Spider plants thrive in bright, indirect light and need watering about once a week. They're perfect for hanging baskets in kitchens, bathrooms, or laundry rooms, anywhere chemicals and moisture accumulate. Hang one near your kitchen ceiling where warm, toxin-filled air rises or place one on a high shelf in your bathroom. The cascading effect looks beautiful while quietly filtering the air you breathe every single day. Peace lilies are the multitaskers of air purification. They remove ammonia, benzene, formaldehyde, and trichloroethylene, basically a full spectrum of common household toxins. Ammonia comes from cleaning products, benzene is in detergents and furniture wax, Formaldehyde is in pressed wood and fabrics. Peace lilies tackle all of them, but they do something else that's incredibly valuable. They add moisture to dry indoor air. Most homes, especially in winter, have humidity levels below 30%, which dries out your sinuses, skin, and throat. Peace lilies naturally transpire water through their leaves, raising humidity and making breathing more comfortable. And here's the best part for beginners. Peace lilies tell you when they need water, when they're thirsty, they droop visibly, water them, and within hours, they perk right back up. No guessing, no overwatering mistakes. They prefer low to medium light so they're perfect for bathrooms, bedrooms or any interior corner that doesn't get direct sun. They even bloom occasionally. Elegant white flowers that add beauty while the plant works overtime cleaning your air. 
place one in your bathroom for humidity control or in your bedroom for cleaner, more breathable nighttime air. Boston Ferns are humidity-loving air purifiers that excel at removing formaldehyde and xylene, two chemicals that off-gas from new furniture, carpets, and building materials. If you've recently moved, renovated, or bought new furniture, formaldehyde levels in your home are likely elevated. But Boston Ferns do something especially valuable during winter, they act as natural humidifiers. Dry winter air, caused by heating systems, can drop indoor humidity below 20%, leading to dry skin, chapped lips, nosebleeds, and respiratory discomfort. A healthy Boston fern releases moisture into the air through transpiration, raising humidity levels naturally without electricity. Studies suggest that a few well-placed ferns can increase room humidity by 5 to 10%, which makes a noticeable difference in how your skin and lungs feel. Boston ferns need consistent moisture and bright indirect light. They're perfect for bathrooms with windows, humid kitchens, or any room where you can miss them a few times per week. Hang them in macrame hangers or place them on plant stands where their delicate, feathery fronds can cascade downward. They're stunning to look at and incredibly effective at softening dry, stale indoor air, especially during the coldest months of the year. Aloe vera is famous for soothing burns, but it's also a powerful air purifier. It removes formaldehyde and benzene, two chemicals found in furniture polish, detergents, paint, and synthetic fabrics. These toxins accumulate in living rooms, kitchens, and home offices where we spend hours every day. What makes aloe special is its resilience. It's a succulent, which means it stores water in its thick, spiky leaves. This makes it perfect for people who forget to water plants or travel frequently. Aloe actually prefers to dry out completely between waterings, Overwatering is the only way to kill it. It needs bright, indirect light, so place it on a sunny windowsill, desk, or kitchen counter. And here's a bonus. If you accidentally break a leaf, you can use the gel inside for minor burns, sunburns, or dry skin. It's a two-in-one plant, air purifier, and natural first aid. Aloe also multiplies easily. Mature plants produce pups, baby aloe plants that grow at the base. You can separate them and pot them individually giving you more air cleaning power or gifts for friends. Place aloe in your living room near furniture, in your home office near electronics, or in your kitchen near cleaning supplies. It works silently, beautifully, and almost effortlessly. Rubber plants are formaldehyde fighting champions. Their large glossy leaves absorb significant amounts of air, making them one of the most efficient plants for removing this common indoor toxin. Formaldehyde is everywhere, in pressed wood furniture, laminate flooring, upholstery, and even paper products. It off-gasses slowly over time, building up in enclosed spaces. Rubber plants are also incredibly low maintenance. They tolerate low light but prefer bright indirect light. They need watering only when the top inch of soil is dry, usually once a week or less, and they grow fast, so a small plant can become a statement piece within a year. Their thick, waxy leaves are naturally dust-resistant, but wiping them down once a month keeps them looking shiny and maximizes their air-purifying ability. Dust blocks the tiny pores plants use to absorb toxins, so a quick wipe with a damp cloth makes a real difference. Rubber plants grow tall and architectural, making them perfect for living rooms, bedrooms, or any corner that needs visual height and clean air. A single mature rubber plant can purify the air in a 100-150 square foot room, place one near your couch, beside your bed, or in a reading nook. It's a plant that works as hard as it looks, quietly cleaning your air while adding bold, elegant style. Dracaena plants, also called dragon trees, are versatile air purifiers that remove benzene, formaldehyde, trichloroethylene, and xylene. These toxins come from varnishes, oils, paints, and gasoline fumes that seep indoors. If you live near a busy street or have an attached garage, Dracaena is especially valuable. There are dozens of Dracaena varieties, from the spiky Dracaena marginata with red-edged leaves to the broader Dracaena fragrance with striped foliage. All of them are effective air cleaners, so you can choose based on the look you want. Dracaenas grow tall and narrow, making them perfect for tight spaces, corners, entryways, hallways, or beside furniture. They add vertical interest without taking up floor space, and they thrive in low to medium indirect light. They're also slow growing and low maintenance. Water them when the top two inches of soil are dry, usually every seven to ten days. 
They tolerate neglect better than overwatering, so if you're forgetful, Drakina forgives you. One important note, Drakinas are sensitive to fluoride in tap water, which can cause brown leaf tips. If you notice this, switch to filtered or distilled water, or let tap water sit out overnight before using it. Place a tall Drakina in your living room corner, beside your TV stand, or in your entryway where it can make a dramatic first impression while filtering toxins from furniture, electronics, and outdoor pollutants that drift inside. English Ivy is a powerhouse when it comes to removing airborne mold spores. Research from the American College of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology found that English Ivy removed 94% of airborne mold particles from a sealed room within just 12 hours. If you live in a humid climate, have a damp basement, or struggle with mold in your bathroom, this plant is a game changer. Mold spores trigger allergies, asthma, and respiratory irritation. They're invisible but constantly floating through your air, especially in poorly ventilated spaces. English ivy captures these spores through its dense trailing leaves, making the air safer to breathe. It also removes formaldehyde and benzene, so it's working on multiple fronts. English ivy is a trailing plant, which means it looks stunning in hanging baskets or cascading from shelves. Place it high where air circulation is poor, and mold tends to accumulate. It prefers bright, indirect light and consistent moisture water when the top inch of soil feels dry, usually twice a week. Keep the soil slightly moist but never soggy. One critical warning. English ivy is toxic to pets. If you have dogs or cats, keep it completely out of reach or choose a different plant. But if your home is pet-free, English ivy is one of the most effective mold-fighting plants you can grow indoors. Bamboo palms are tropical air purifiers that remove formaldehyde, benzene, and trichloroethylene, three of the most common indoor toxins, but they do something extra that makes them especially valuable. They act as natural humidifiers, releasing moisture into dry indoor air through their large feathery fronds. If your home feels dry, especially in winter, bamboo palms can raise humidity levels by several percentage points, which helps with dry skin irritated sinuses, and scratchy throats. They're like having a living humidifier that never needs refilling. Bamboo palms prefer bright, indirect light and consistently moist soil. Water them when the top inch of soil feels dry, usually once or twice a week. They love humidity, so misting them occasionally, or placing them near a bathroom or kitchen helps them thrive. They grow tall, up to six or seven feet indoors, so they're perfect for filling vertical space in living rooms, home offices, or bedroom corners. Their graceful arching fronds create a tropical calming vibe while working hard to clean your air. Place a bamboo palm beside your couch, next to your desk, or in a reading nook where you spend time relaxing. It's a statement plant that delivers serious air purifying power while making your home feel like a peaceful retreat. Last but absolutely not least, pothos, also called devil's ivy. This trailing plant removes formaldehyde, benzene, and xylene, and it's famous for being nearly indestructible. If you've never kept a plant alive, start with pothos. It thrives in low light, tolerates irregular watering, and grows fast even when neglected. Pothos adapts to almost any environment, bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchens, offices, even windowless spaces with artificial light. Its heart-shaped variegated leaves trail beautifully from shelves, hang from baskets, or climb up moss poles. You can shape it however you want. And here's the best part. Pothos grows so quickly that you can propagate it endlessly. Snip a stem below a node, place it in water, and, within two weeks you'll have roots. Plant it, and you've just created a new air purifying plant for free. One pothos can become 10 within a year. It needs watering only when the soil is dry, usually once a week, and it actually prefers to dry out between waterings. Overwatering is harder than underwatering with pothos. One warning, pothos is toxic to pets, so keep it out of reach if you have curious cats or dogs. But if your home is pet-free, pothos is the ultimate beginner-friendly air purifier. Place it anywhere you need greenery and cleaner air. It will thrive and multiply with almost zero effort. Now let's talk about how to place these plants so they actually clean your air effectively. Remember the rule, one plant per 100 square feet. That means, for a small bedroom, 10 by 10 feet, you need one to two plants. For a medium living room, 15 by 20 feet, you need three to five plants. 
For a large open space, 20 by 20 feet or more, you need 5 to 7 plants. Focus on the rooms where you spend the most time, bedrooms, living rooms, home offices. Place plants near sources of toxins, furniture, electronics, cleaning supply areas, and in corners where air circulation is poor. And here's a bonus tip, group plants together. They create a micro-environment with better humidity and airflow, which makes them even more effective. Let's do a quick cost comparison. A good air purifier costs $200 to $800 plus $50 to $100 per year in replacement filters. Over 5 years you're looking at $450 to $1 in $300. 10 houseplants cost about $50 to $150 total, depending on size. Add $20 per year for soil and pots. Over 5 years, that's $150 to $250, and your plants keep growing and multiplying. Plus, plants add beauty, humidity, oxygen, and a sense of calm that no machine can replicate. You're not just cleaning air, you're creating a living, breathing home. One last thing, be realistic. Plants won't eliminate severe air quality issues, smoke, or allergens the way medical grade purifiers do. But for everyday toxins from furniture, paint, cleaning products, and general indoor air staleness, they work surprisingly well, especially when you use enough of them. Think of plants as your first line of defense for cleaner, healthier air. They're affordable, low maintenance, and they make your home feel more alive. If you're ready to start, pick two or three plants from this list and place them in the room where you spend the most time. Notice how the air feels over the next few weeks, fresher, lighter, easier to breathe. And if you want to go deeper into creating a healthier, more peaceful home with plants, check out my video on plants that naturally reduce anxiety and improve sleep. It's the perfect next step for building your own healing home environment. Thanks for watching, and here's to cleaner air, greener spaces, and a home that truly supports your well-being.